Hey guys, well, um, just got back from Garden Week, which is on uh, from this Thursday through to Sunday. Um, picked up a few new plants like I do each year, and a few seedlings and a few different things to give a go in the in the patch, and even bumped into a, a few people um, that I've met on uh, YouTube and also on the um, Facebook Veggie Patch in Perth page. So um, yeah, it was great to meet um, Joy and Gavin. Um, so what did I get? I guess I'll show you. Actually, before, I will say, Rob, if you'd answered on the Facebook quicker, I reckon you could have talked me into buying a dragon fruit. If you didn't see my post, go there and have a look, Rob, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, we'll go through what I did pick up. Uh, excuse me. Firstly, I got myself a curry tree. Finally, not the curry plant like I had last time. This is the correct one. And this was a bargain. They were selling them um, tiny, tiny little things, which were probably, I don't know, the size of that top bit there for 10 bucks. And then in another stall, I got this giant plant for 30. So, definitely done all right there. Um, also, I'm gonna give ginger a go. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure they said it like sort of part shade, so I think I might put that somewhere in the patch um, under the big tree, the annoying next door tree. Uh, I've also got some asparagus, which I've never tried, and I picked up some purple kale, which I've never tried, and I know I've got kale on the go, but this is a little bit more forward, so... Um, I really like my kale, so I've got three lots going now. So I've got, I'll plant this one, then there's one that's in between, and then I've got the ones that just came up uh, the other day. So I'll have three different stages of that. Now, I'll tell you, I haven't been in the patch for three days, um, and I've already gone in and had a look today. There's a few issues that I've run into that I'll show you and we'll cover. And I've already worked out where I went wrong. Firstly I'll show you the lettuce. See here they don't look as healthy as what they have been. Um, now the reason for that you can see this one here has died completely. Now what happened there was a couple of days ago I threw some MPK fertilizer across. Not much just a little um, and I did give it a quick water but um, then what's happened is um, we've had a couple of humid nights and I think some of the fertilizer pellets have sort of gone between the leaves and um, got caught up and then with the moisture it's gone like a slime and then it's um, burnt the leaves so yeah learn by my mistakes I haven't done that one before um, but yeah I've lost a couple of the lettuce and then this here was doing fine and has actually this is a telltale sign you can see all these little like pellet things that's poo so I think it's a snail or a slug or something has had a go at this in the last few days and I've missed it so yeah I'm gonna have to rectify rectify that problem pretty quick I will plant another lot of lettuce um, we've got plenty plenty of lettuce at the moment um, the carrots here the three rows this still coming along nicely um, I'll, I won't thin them for a while the, the snow peas they're doing very well this is the second lot that will be ready to go in very shortly uh, I'm not sure what's in here I think this is coriander just sort of springing up I've had a bit of trouble I think the seeds are getting a bit old the ones that I've kept because they weren't from this year they were from the year before so I think they're getting a bit old um, Pretty sure this is the oh let me think Swedes and turnips I think second planting uh, and this is the Tuscan cabbage and kale uh, so they're starting to get some true leaves on them now you can see just there and this is the garlic heaps of garlic so there'll be plenty of that getting planted out next week um, 
this side is doing okay. The spinach and the silver beet. I think that's because the fertilizer didn't get trapped between the leaves. So they've all done okay. Uh, and then the, I'll show you the other problem that I've run into this week. Uh, the other problem is there is a war being waged in here on slaters. Um, I think I'm going to have to throw some pellets down or something because I caught the little critters in the act the other day um, and they've destroyed they've done a fair bit of damage now I don't know if this will pick it up but they have completely they ring bark this and the bean was growing okay this is the one that went right to the top but then they've had another go at it in the last couple of days and you can see it, it the, the, it's not going to survive, it's pretty much gone, you can see it's dropping away now. Um, these broccoli and cauliflower are fine because they're big enough, but the carrots that are in here, they've also been attacked. And I've noticed they come out just after it's rained or when it's very dark and cloudy. Um, this bean is decimated. Um, yep. There's a photo of that on the Veggie Patch Facebook page with it absolutely covered in them. Um, so the other thing I'm going to try is I know they like it when it's cloudy and dark. So I think it's time I took the uh, the old shade cover off. I might do that next weekend. Um, yeah, even some of these in the cups that I had to try and protect them. You can see they've they've got up and over. Um, so yeah, I think I'll have to put down some pellets. Anyway, I think that's enough I've shown you for today. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys can get along to Garden Week before it finishes on the weekend. And yeah, have a look and go see Gavin over at the Soil Solver stand. Alright, see you later guys.